Hi, I'm Ken Bianco Jr. And today's episode, we have New York and Atlantic Railway stopping by the store to show and talk about the great Lionel New York and Atlantic model that we both collaborated on. I have president of New York and Atlantic, James Bonner, as well as engine house foreman. Hopefully Bruce. I get that right, yes. Bruce. Right. How are you guys doing today? We're and doing great. We're glad to be here. That's awesome. And thank you so much for stopping by Trainland today. So much excitement and I am incredibly honored because with Lionel, New York and Atlantic and Trainland, it was just an awesome collaboration and we're especially honored because it's not every day we get in contact and get to talk to an actual railroad manufacturer. So when we reached out to New York and Atlantic and we were talking with James and his team, it was just incredible synergy and the excitement to work with a local New York train shop, it was just outstanding. So we really appreciate working with New York and Atlantic as well as Lionel Trains coming a part of the, uh, the collaboration. It was just excellent. Even though this model isn't exactly prototypical, we kind of wanted to offer something for everybody out there to show what a great paint scheme, what a great railroad New York and Atlantic Railway really is. Now, James, do you want to say a couple of words about New York Atlantic Railway? Sure, yes. Thank you, Ken, first for having us here. It's an honor to be considered for this opportunity to have our own locomotive. We take it pretty seriously. If you stick with our company for a certain amount of years, we always give an HO scale locomotive to those folks to honor that tenure. This is going to be part of our ongoing process to do that. And Bruce hopes it's for 18 or 20 times, <laughs> so he gets his sooner, but we'll probably hold it out a little bit longer, maybe a retirement gift or something like that. So it's a wonderful opportunity, thank you. It's been great to work with you. The request came a little bit out of the blue, so we were taken aback by it. It took us a little bit of time to get back to you to say yes, but we are very grateful for it. The New York and Atlantic is a Long Island railroad right we operate freight over the long island railroad we've done so since 1997 we've grown the car loads about 300 percent in that time we provide a really vital service to long island in the cover of darkness most people aren't even aware that we're here i often tell them i work for the railroad and they'll say oh nice the long island railroad and i'll say no it's the freight railroad and they'll say no we don't have a freight railroad and i, I say yes i get paid every friday and so we're proud to be here we're proud to move things onto and off of Long Island to do so at an economic level that helps people keep their business on Long Island, to support jobs on Long Island, and support our 70 people that we have working for us. So again, thank you for that opportunity. That's awesome. Thank you so much. And I believe, Bruce, you're yeah. also a model railroad fan. Yes, I am. I do have my uh, fair collection that goes back many, many years. You know, some pre-war, some post-war. Okay. And since I started working with the railroad, uh, I've been collecting trinkets of the New York and Atlantic, regardless who made the material. Right, right. And I do have a you know, miniature train set going on Mr. Bonner's uh, credentials <laughs> up there. We Very now nice. can add one more length of track. I uh, really enjoy working with the railroad. I came to the railroad in 2002. I qualified as an engineer in 2004. I've learned a lot, I was taught a lot, and it's a great opportunity there, and I just love working there. That's awesome. And how do you like the actual uh, reproduction train? I actually Lionel? like it. I, <laughs> I really think it's pretty, uh, it's pretty neat. I do like it. It's uh, pretty authentic. Like you say, it's not exactly the PR20B, but right. for us non-rivet counters, I give it a thumbs up. <laughs> That's it, awesome. If I can real quick, the significance of the locomotive for us is that it's a tier three plus. Right. So right. it is one of the best profile from a mission standpoint that you can get on a locomotive. And it was the best at that time. They have upgraded to tier four now. We are working with Long Island Railroad to bring some tier fours into the fleet. But it's significant in that it represents the commitment that we've made to the community to try to make sure that we're running the cleanest possible locomotives that we can. Trains are always much more missions friendly than most other modes of freight anyway but this just takes it to another level so that's another reason it's exciting for us exactly and especially on this to to get the exact same model nobody has that kind of tooling in model trains today that's why we kind of put it on a gp20 from lionel but it's something that's different you know you don't see this cool paint scheme out very often in model trains especially o scale it's just really nice lionel did an excellent job beautiful 
and it's something different. And we, we tried our best to make it look as uh, closely to the one on the rails. I think a lot of modelers really were, were excited. We saw the pre-orders come in like crazy. Everybody was wanted to get a, their hands on this specific model because it's really never been done for model trains. So to have something on their layout like this, I think that's going to be something awesome for collectors. Thank you again, Ken. Really appreciate it. It's a great, great collaboration. You guys have been great to work with. Thank you very, very much. That's and, awesome. And Ken, thank you. I'll be continuing the shopping here. <laughs> yes, <to come. laughs> All right. Well, Bruce, thank you very much. And James, it has been an absolute pleasure. We also want to thank Lionel Trains for also making this collaboration happen. And again, I just, you know, want to say thank you to the New York and Atlantic Railway for working with a local train store. I, I think this collaboration has been awesome. Even though it's not 100% prototypical, Model Trains is about having fun. And I think that's what's really important. And at the end of the day, working with a guy like James and meeting Bruce today, it was an absolute honor. So we look forward to seeing you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And we're going to show some close-up clips of the New York Atlantic and this beautiful engine up close in person. So keep on watching. Thank you guys. Have a great day.